Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play some more GTN 8. So we're back. So last time we had fun. We got our steam boilers up and running here. They're doing really well. Our, our waters here, they're probably filling up here pretty good. Yep. Um, and then of course our big huge iron tank here, which holds uh, over uh, 10,000 buckets of steam. And then over here is our setup. So this is what I'm doing right now for our uh, our, our melting setup, basically. So uh, doubling of our ores. And they smelt as well now. I'm going to do the smelting here, too. Um, I thought might as well. So um, now that we're not worried about the seam and stuff, this is good. So I could just dump the ores in each of these and let them go. And then we got the other stuff just kind of skedaddled around. It doesn't really matter right now. So this episode, I thought we'd go ahead and clean up some of the quest book because I want to work on some stuff. So let's go and hunt for ourselves a great wood sapling. Let's get that done. And we're just going to we're just going to knock a bunch of these out of the park today. I see one just right across the river from us. So we're just right here. That's one there. Hopefully that's not a webbed one so we don't have to deal with spiders. Oh, I see webs there. Urgh. So we can deal with the spiders, but they're going to be a bit more of a nuisance, unfortunately. Looks like there's one further away. I might go to that one. Oh, yeah, this one's definitely a safe one. So let's go ahead and use our lumber. I've never actually used the lumber axe uh, in this Let's Play series actually on a tree yet. Oh, you are a horrible lumber axe. That's not a lumber axe. That's a nightmare axe. What the hell? That did not even do what I was hoping it would do. That is disgusting. Okay, I guess those don't work well on those trees, huh? So I'm going to have to go through here just to find the sapling in here. That sucks. Okay, so. um, And then not only that, I like to clean it up just because that's who I am. So let's go ahead and clean this up if we can. I still got to get higher. I guess I could just do something like this. There you go. Oh, yeah, this is ridiculous. This thing did not do what it's supposed to do at all here. I guess you could use this one because it'll do a bigger area. Yeah, it still doesn't even grab what you need there. Oops. There you go. There you go. Is there anything left in there? It's just you no. Know, these trees, I guess, are slow. They do. They they slowly, you know, dissipate or whatever. So you just you got more a mess to deal with. But whatever. There's nothing left there. What about over here? Kind of dangerous because we're kind of floating up here, and but they're not instantly disappearing. So I guess we have time to kind of go around and do this. There you go. You know, just one block disappears and your game over, right? So, <laughs> gotta think of it that way, in a sense. There was a hive in this tree. Interesting. I didn't think the hives would grow in the tree like this. Is this the main pillar? I guess it was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so even then, you got these. A little dangerous, but we'll give it a shot here. I just have a, I don't like floating trees. Oh crap. So I like to clean them up as much as I can usually. So. I can always come back and when I can fly, you know, and clean it up too. So. Okay. Let me keep going at this. Oh, I just got the trigger. So I must have picked up on the saplings. Yeah, the saplings are rare, rare on these guys a bit, but not as bad. Um, probably because this is huge. So um, as much as it's like, oh, you probably definitely get a couple of saplings from this. Probably because it's more on the mutant side than anything, I'm guessing. So, but yeah, okay. Let me uh, let me finish this up and I'll head back. Another quest done. I had all the other ones done, or not the squid ones, but most of these guys done from a couple days ago actually I just never submitted it but I thought hey I'll do the pig one too while I'm out here okay something I should do more often collect your uh, steel here so a lot of times because we have enough charcoal and stuff in here um, you just need to collect the steel out of here because it stacks up in there and fills up so that's just part of my maintenance duties when I'm working and then sometimes I get the reeds or something else you know if I 
got some time or just want to do it, you know. Okay, so great wood logs. Yes, so we got a bunch of those. Those will be used way later on in life, but that's good. More steel there. Some dark ash from the furnace there, glass furnace. And then these can go here. And then that usually goes into the thing Bo's lazy. Oh, and then you got your uh, pig meat, which I probably should bring upstairs and set that up over time. But uh, anyway, so yeah. Oh, yeah, let's do this. So there's the pig one. Here is, oh, I got a zombie one too. Nice. Here's a sheep one. Here is a cow one. Here is a chicken one. And the squid one, no. Oh, it's, it's that color because you've done it before. That's right. Okay. So we're just going to go like this to just fill up in this plus this one. And then we'll just go like that. Perfect. So there you go. I got a lot of those done. Plus, now, we, of course, we finish this one here. Oh, Juliet's making a, a beautiful lasagna. So that goes off. Uh, what about you? Can you go in there? No. Okay. So you guys are up here. And then we got ourselves, uh, was that Stone Age bag or something? So, meh. I'm going to ignore that. I got to do some organization around the base eventually here, but it's pretty good. Okay, so that's 42 out of 43. What quest is missing? Oh, these ones. I forgot all about these ones. Berry Melody. Oh, this was so long ago. And I completely forgot about it. So you need to make a bowl with a knife, which I assume would be just this. Like this, like this. It might be one of those. Oh, you know what? They might make us make it like this. No, okay. I think we're going to have to look up the bowl recipe here. Oh, damn it. There you go. Pretty simple. Okay. And then uh, we just need our berries now. So I'm guessing it's berry melody. We'll just click it and see. Oh, it's four berries. Okay. So the ones that we pick off the bushes here. So you got this one, this one, this one, and this one. You have to do it in the crafting grid. There you go. I wonder if they matter. No, they don't. Okay, there you go. So there's your berry melody. Awesome. And there we go. So that finishes off the... Oh, look at that. They give you a bunch of these bushes if some reason oh and these ones don't stack by the way if, if these are the same ones as before they do not stack in any way yeah well i mean those ones were they were all stacks in there so let's try this because there's some unstacked ones yeah look at this oh no they are stacking i think they finally redid them possibly yeah okay so they might have actually redid these at one point, these would not stack. It was so annoying because they had like a different ID to them. You place them down and pick them up, probably then it would change it. But it was just something from back in the time that was kind of interesting. Stone Age bag, more food. Hey, that's good. You know, working on that stuff. Okay, so there we have it. So that finishes up the So It Begins. Oh, and it even has a little check mark. Uh, we got our tips and tricks here. Nothing new here. 16 of 28, so... You can see new ones will pop up down the road. Okay, so the Stone Age here, we got 72 of only 86. So there's a lot of work that needs to be done. Uh, so XP here, this is an interesting one. XP drain and bucket, I guess. Uh, well, we already did that. So we really just need the bucket, to be honest. Or sorry, the XP drain. Oh, you know what? We don't have any more of these, do we? No. Okay, so we need you guys. We're going to need you, but we're not going to have enough iron here. So we're going to have to make more rods. Rods and Todds. I don't know why they say that all the time because it's in my head, Todd. I don't know. Um. Okay, and then to make these, I think we needed a hammer. Oh, just a hammer. I was going to say maybe wrench, but... Okay. We... Oh, you know what? We might need these again in the future. That was a lot of them that it took, but I'm sure we'll use these again anyway. So there you go. So this is your XP drain. We do have this here, so we can use this instead of the other one. Um, basically, it's pretty cool. Uh, you can use this to unlock some new recipes. So let's actually go downstairs and I'll show you this. Ah, get my way. Why not? So let's just do it in this corner here. So we'll put this here, and then you can stand on here. And this should, oh, there it goes. It takes a minute to activate. 
this pours it in here. And those XP berries are a great example of, you know, here you go. You know, you eat this and it gives you XP and you can dump it in here. And then what you do is you get a bucket here and you pick this up. So there's nine buckets worth and there's recipes with this. And you can actually craft things like charcoal, redstone, glass, string, clay, stone dust. Um, so some very basic stuff, sulfur, sulfur dust. There you go. So you can use that to make the early game rubber. You remember we were looking at rubber before and we couldn't do it. Um, they even have stuff like, um, I think, oh, there you go. Raw rubber right there. Never mind. Um, obsidian dust. Uh, they even have, I thought some other ones like, oh yeah. Arsenic dust, uh, aluminum dust, uh, silver, gold. I think they had, oh yeah. Gallium dust there. Cobalt brass. So they have some good ones in there too that are useful. So it's kind of a, a useful thing. And if you make a big farm of the EXP over time, I mean, it's good. And I guess later on in the game, it's it's good too. If you're not, you know, gaining those materials, it's a good way of, you know, that piece of dirt's in my inventory again. Freaking dirt. Yeah, I should have gotten rid of it. Okay, so that finishes that. So we can claim that. What is this one about? It's just talking about open. Okay. Just talking about the uh, open blocks mod uh, there. Okay. And then you got XP enchantment thing. We'll just get rid of that. We don't need that. Okay, so that finishes that. Um, animal farms. Oh, yes. We were working on this a long time ago. Did we ever make it to enough raw chicken? Yes, we did. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that, that's good news. Because you can either get precision steers, unstable maddock, or uh, steam age bag. I'd go for this because you will never, ever, ever have to repair your maddock uh, ever again. This is this is this can't be broken. It's unbreakable. So this was great for setting up farms and things like this. The amount of times I had to repair this damn thing, even in steel level, was ridiculous. Um, now I don't have to worry about that. So. That, that was a nice little quest to get over time. So it was something we were slowly working on, and uh, now it's gone. Uh, Skystone, unfortunately, the only way you're going to get Skystone, and I don't even know if we can get it yet, is through the coins, coins, coins. Um, so we disabled Skystone generation, which is common. That's not a big deal because um, it's ugly and whatever. But, uh, yeah, it looks like we don't unlock it yet. So later on when we do unlock it, it'll it'll be in here. And then we can use that. And you only get like 64 at a time. So it'll take you several hours to go through it. But it's not a you know a big deal there. So Okay, so what else do we have in here? You got the stone spear and all this. So I guess we can work on this. I mean, to be fair, those were kind of crummy. I, I guess I could use it. Because if I had it as a weapon, I'd probably actually use it still. So to, to be fair, so... Let's see here. So you need this and you need the wooden sticks. There you go. I'm going to make three of them, I think. Because they get broken pretty easily, too. So if I do this, then I'll have, you know, quite a bit. Let's get some screws here. And then this thing. Oh, stone arrowhead. Okay, we can do that. So it's a stone arrowhead, not a regular, you know. Uh, so we need stone, and I think we might have an arrowhead. Did we ever try making a bow? I don't know if that's actually enough now I think about it. Because it might need more than one uh, thing out of consumption, I don't know. I got a bunch of crap in here. <laughs> okay, there you go. There's your three stone arrowheads. Just throw that back in, not wanting to deal with it right now. Okay, so we got all that, and then we're going to make a stone spear. So I guess we should add that to the list. And then, oh, you're going to need some tools. So that's a screwdriver and I guess a saw. So a saw and screwdriver. Oh, crap. I did not mean to hit that sorting thing. There we go. Just use the middle mouse button. So saw that's almost broken and screwdriver. Oh, we already have the screwdriver. Okay. Go. There's one. There's two. We can't stack. No. And then there's three. Perfect. So that one's done. And then there's another one as well, by the way. So choice reward. You can get those, those, those. We'll just go basic Stone Age, you know, crap here. There you go. What's in this thing here? Flint. Flint is never a terrible thing to have. 
Okay, so that's good. Now, I thought I saw another one here, but maybe we don't need that. Oh, iron shield. So that's annoying. Iron plate, tough iron binding, tough iron tool rods. That's a very, very, very expensive shield, to be fair. So this is like eight parts. Uh, was this? That's three, I guess, right? And this is three as well. So eight, uh, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 iron. I have iron in there too, I think. I dumped some in there. So I might even have enough, but I'm not actually too sure. Oh, literally one ingot. Okay, yeah, we don't have enough iron in there. So let me uh, heat that up. We can work on that. Let's see what else we have here. So um, I thought there was other ones, but they might be going into the tools after that. Building, uh, fishing, cooking. No, they'd be the armory, armor one. Where was that one? This one here. Ah, uh, here, iron spear. Ah, iron, iron uh, arrowhead here, this one here. So... Is this one? So we can do that right now, actually. We're going to have to make a cast, I think, because we've never made a... We've never done an arrowhead, right? We would have done the bolt. Yeah, so let's go ahead and grab it from here. Oh, I need a... <laughs> we have to go and grab some stone again here. There you go. So we'll go ahead and dump you here. I guess we can just hold on to that. Perfect. Then we're going to just... Put you here, and then we're going to change this to our own brass here. Perfect. And then we're going to go ahead and switch this to iron. There you go. Now, will they... Oh, they use regular wooden spears. So I shouldn't have made so many of the other ones, because I could have... Okay. Should have, could have, you know, how it works, right? Um, I could have made myself three of those. I kind of maybe went over to the top on that one. Okay, and then we're going to make a wooden spear again here. And then we need a steel screw. There's a couple steel screws there. And then I guess we should go and bookmark that one. There you go. And there's the iron version of the spear. That's cool. And once again, oh, Enderman. I'll take the Enderman. I haven't had luck with the whole spawning of this, but I mean, it's always fun to try. Now, don't break this while still smelting stuff because you'll lose the progression, but we're done now. So you can do it now if you like. Just go dump that guy in there. That's definitely not going to be a regen. I don't think that was an anything guy. It's just a loser guy. He doesn't have the special stuff, but it still gives you... He still gives you Ender Pearl uh, juice, right? So... Anyways, cool. Um, okay, let's go back to that shield, shall we? So, iron shield. I guess the quests are linked, so you can hardly go up into places. You don't get rewards twice. It's just they're linked, obviously. Um, so here we go. We're going to put you in here, and we're going to go molten iron. We're going to start pouring you. Tough bind, and then the tough rod, right? Yeah. We need two rods, right? Yeah. Okay, pour one more of you. Very expensive, but your shield probably doesn't need to be replaced and repaired as much. The This guy, these guys don't have a lot of durability. Well, 250, so it's not terrible, but they've been pretty bad in my opinion. But then again, I guess they haven't changed them or update them in any way. Did I stop it or something happened? No. I must have hit it then. There you go. I was going to say, I already have a bunch, but no, this is the tough rod, so we do need that. Okay. There you go. And then I guess we need to go and make our shield here. We don't have a hammer or a file, it looks like. So, uh, hammer, and then a file to fileate this. There you go. Oh, nice. Always good to break stuff. There you go. And then we can do this in our uh, little inventory here. So there you go. So this shield lasts three seconds. So it gets a little longer each time, you know, you get an upgraded shield, which is cool. Um, and then I guess we get to choose. I don't care. I'll just go for this. 
There you go, some food anyways, it's always fun. Okay. Moving on, I guess we could check this stuff too. Yeah, step one I want to get, leather armor task. Have we never done the leather armor task? Wait, what? Really? Was I like poor on leather at the time or I just didn't even think about it? It's a bit weird to be fair. Like, it's a very easy one, so it's like, it's, you know what I mean? It just, it's a little bizarre to me not having that done, so. Now we have it done. Ugh, I'd rather go for bone meal and have a die. Now, if I knew which dyes I want, you know, the dyes would actually probably not be a bad idea to be fair, so. Do we have bone meal anywhere else right now? Oh, there's apparently bone meal in here. There you go. Okay. I think. Wait, is this steel? Oh, I thought the glider was aluminium, to be honest. Oh, okay. That's kind of cheap, to be fair. I need to make more. You know what we need? I don't even think I have any more. We do tea on this? No. We do apparently have three. Oh, okay. We can do this right now. But we should, right after this, go ahead and make. Okay, so we're going to do the glider here. We're going to need some steel plates, apparently. So this is going to be like a collider that uses... Well, I mean, in real life, they probably actually would use steel, to be fair. Um, it just, you know, in the mind, it seems weird at first because it's like weight-wise, but they'd be like hollowed out steel and some stuff. It'd probably be aluminium, to be honest, but I don't see any kind of steel thing there. So let's go ahead and make some new steel ones. We can fileate it. Oh, the file is the one that broke last time, remember? Oh, there's one in there. We'll get us all of them made into rods, but we'll get us some. There you go. So you got to make them into these two pieces here. So one and two. And then you put them all together into a final piece, which is a bunch of steel screws, which we don't also have right now. Another file here. Okay, let's go ahead and chop you up. There you go. And let's take you and chop you up. And chop the rest up. And let's file you together. There we go. And that is our glider. And this is this is a pretty cool thing. You just basically go on a hill and you right click and you, you glide, you fly. Um, this pairs up really well later on when you get like jetpacks and the, the helicopter thingy Um But yeah. It's nice. You know all those pillars? I don't know if we've seen a few pillars. I, I cleaned them up uh, off camera. But you know those pillars that you see in the you know from time to time on servers? People usually pillar up to be dicks and do this. You really shouldn't do that because it's not nice. Imagine going to a world, a server. It's like, oh, this is beautiful. And there's just pillars all over the place. It just ruins the aesthetics of everything. Not a fun thing. But uh, Either way. Uh, yeah, so we said we were going to make more of these guys. So we should do just that. So um, that's not going to be a problem. The string, on the other hand, is going to be a slight problem right now. Am I really low on those? Yeah, apparently. This is where we have all these here. So it's not like we're low, low, because we got a bunch here, but... I guess you can't do that till you oh, oh pain in the ass. There you go. One, two, there you go. I'm trying to get enough to just you know. <laughs> Whee! And we'll use that drying rack there. Out there. Okay, so string, we can make more of you, please. Um, there you go. So in threes. And then we need some of you guys too, so let's make you and then more string. There you go. Might as well just go like this. There you go. And then do you have enough for this? Uh, and then you're gonna be off by two, but whatever. Yeah, okay. I wonder if we had any in here to begin with. Apparently we do. Oh, just the 33 there. Might as well use it up then. I kind of wanted to have this as 32 just in my brain, right? So, and then these guys, perfect. There you go. Okay. And then, yeah, let's get 
a bunch of these guys going. So I do 16 usually. I don't, I know I don't need 16 right away, but then that way I can put, you know, eight on here and then I can hit the P key here if you've configured everything right and just store them on the wall and then they're ready to go later on. So, and then you got a choice reward, tan leather and chainted book falling or loot bag steam. I'll go for the loot bag steam, which thankfully you didn't give me like 10 of those, like different ones. <laughs> okay. What was that one? Or maybe it was just that quest. Okay, so you got more here. Fancy armor, steel rings. That's expensive as hell. You might as well wait till you have the processing on that just because it's just a waste of materials. Uh, oh, you have advanced uh, alloy here. Oh, okay, so steel ones. We have steel. Yeah, I guess we can make full steel armor. Might be worth it to go into the nether with this, actually. Then again, the other one, you have that nether resist. Yeah, you know what? I think we could do the steel. Screw it. I know it's a little expensive, but it's like one of those things. Why not? You can't. Yeah, it's not like you can furnace this on us, right? So I don't have to worry about that. Because that would be kind of. A, oh, wait, you are smelting it into something? What are you smelting it into? No, stop. Oh, my God. How is this smelting it into? Yeah. Yeah, I think it just melts it back into ingots. Ah, oh, damn it. And I'm guessing you don't get all of them back. It's a one, two. I, mean, I bet you anything. It's a one, two. Yeah. Oopsies. So later on when you, it is, you know, even, it's not a big deal. But I just lost some steel out of that stupidity. Okay, well, anyways, that's more than enough steel for us. Now you know to disable those. Okay, so I guess it's like going to be like before. We go like this, and there you go. There we have it. Here's your boots. Here's your pants. And then we'll do the chest piece up here. There we go. Perfect. And then you have the composite armor you can do here. Um, what is this going to give me anyways? Interesting. Oh, he's like, what are you doing? Wait, what? I got a uh, scuba. This is actually a nice uh, mask. Pretty sure that one's usually expensive, isn't it? Yeah, I think that was actually a really good deal on our our side of things, because usually that's expensive, I think. OK, so we're going to keep what do we keep in the chest piece? Yes, because we're going to upgrade the chest piece. All this leather I have on me is kind of taking up all this inventory space. There you go. So we're going to go ahead and now turn this into the composite one. So we need a leather. Oh, you need a leather tunic as well, by the way. So we're going to steal the leather tunic and then we need the composite. I think I have composite still. Oh, yeah, there you go. I, I didn't think I used it all. There you go. And I'm guessing it's just like I wonder how you can do it. So I'm guessing it's going to be like this. If it wants six of it, right? I'm guessing it's going to be something like this. Oh, okay. So it's only six of that. Then this has to go somewhere. There you go. <laughs> you can figure it out over time. That's old school Minecraft, by the way. Use the wiki or, you know, scroll through it like a million times and try to figure out, was it this way? No, maybe it was this way. You know, you just go back and forth. Uh, advanced alloy, I think it's a pretty good deal. It's, yeah, it's not like we, it's a must have, but, you know, I got some steel rings, huh? But this has a good protection. Like, I mean, look at that. Nine, nine protection on that beauty. So it's pretty decent, to be fair, so. Um, let's put this glider away here. Let's open this guy here. Night vision again? Yeah. Oh, this might be better. I think the other ones were short. Or are they shorter? I don't know. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, armor molds. Want plates to make your armor pieces out of molten metal? Okay. That's expensive as hell. I didn't know they, yeah, they had mold versions. So you have to make all the casts. And then you make the molds. I guess since they're giving you 16 uh, steel back, it's not terrible. Oh my gosh, that's insane amount of steel per one, though. 
I guess they're paying it back basically, but still. How much steel do I have in there? Oh, I have enough. Yeah, I guess we could do this. So you just want the four molds? Yeah, so let's go ahead and clean this up. And A, 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 A. There we go. Get us started on that. And we need to pour these guys out. One. Two, three, and then four. Okay, and then we'll move it to steel. There you go. And we just gotta shape all four of these. Um, there you go. So there's the boots. And then here's the pants. Oh, I guess you don't know how to jump after you do that. So you gotta do that again. Here's the pants. Here's the chest. Kind of cool, I guess. And here is the head. I don't remember this one before, to be fair. So this, to me, this is more interesting that this exists. But maybe it did exist and I don't remember. I don't know. I don't think it did. So yeah, you're gonna do each one of these ones. I don't know if any of these take more than another one. I don't think so. I'm guessing they're all the same. Yeah. Okay. I sucked the mold in, so I guess it's not meant for this. Oops. There you go. One, two, three. Four. I just got a little worried there on that timing. I was saying, eh. Okay, so I'm definitely picking up the steel at that price. Okay, so those are the molds. And then, yeah, you got this one here. Like I said, I'm probably going to ignore this one. It's a little expensive because you don't get the... You get so much out later on out of it, but not, you know. You know what? Screw it. I've done all the other ones. Let's just do it. Yeah, let's just do it. I might need a bit more steel, though. It's just one of those things that are like, you know what? I don't care. There you go. And then we'll probably need another file in the future anyways. There you go. Might as well make these into the, the last bit there. There you go. Okay, so how did we do the chains again? Oh, yeah, chains are like that. Okay, so we need, what, 20, 24, I guess it is, right? So let's put you in here. There you go. And then I guess we start on this, right? So here's your pants. And then here's your helmet. Here is your booties. And then here is your chest piece. There you go. Kind of fun just to get it done, right? Because then you're like, yeah, we have it. We we don't need to worry about it. There you go. I put you away. I guess I didn't. So like it would be funny if it was just replicating. It's like, oh, it's alive. Okay, I think you guys are full, yeah. And then steel plates. I'm going to go for the steel plates for Steam Age, yeah. I think that's worth it. Okay, so let's see here. So that gets us a lot of armor pieces done, which is really nice. Well, you have this, which was already in the other one too, the bronze javelin. Do we have bronze in this silly thing or do we have to dump bronze into this right now? I don't think we have any bronze in there. So to make that, we're gonna have to. It's kind of the only downside. It's like, I'm kind of lazy, but. I guess if it exists now, what what can this mix into? You gotta be careful because this can mix into stuff, and then you're gonna be crying. Oh, I guess it won't mix into anything. It doesn't show anything there. So I played some packs, and you gotta be really careful because there's just so many metals and they mix in here. But I guess with GT and H, a lot of that stuff is gonna be disabled anyway. It's just because they don't want you to, you know. Okay, so bronze arrowhead and tough cast. Okay, so that'll be uh, coming in soon. And that'll make you a javelin. Okay. 
So we need to get the arrow thing again. There you go. And then it was just the tough rod, right? Yeah. Just don't make make it mix it up with the uh, the other one there. They look very similar, and it's just one of them. Or oh no, you know two two of them. Okay. Good, we looked. Okay. And then we can make our javelin, which is, I guess, a tool, one that you can just throw around. That's kind of cute, I guess. There we go. And there's your bronze javelin. And that's another quest. Yeah, so you just hold this and throw. And pick up. Cool. That's a tinker's one. You can level it up and blah, 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 obviously. So that's always fun. Um, oh, you get it all? Okay, because I would get the lemon brass out of those selections. <laughs> They're like, you get it all. Okay. So, that's pretty good here. Let's see what else we got time for here, if anything. Um, you got the railcraft stuff here, rails. This one's complicated, if I recall. It's not terrible, but it's also a slightly annoying recipe. I don't actually have... Uh, you know what? Let's make some. It's like, I don't have any uh, iron loops here but we can make some stuff here so let's make a bunch of rods here and then let's go ahead let's just a this thing here there you go a funny thing is i have carts so it's not like i really need to make these but i'm just doing it for the sake of the quest book there you go no it's supposed to be iron there you go there you go let's make a few of these Oh, that's good for now. Okay, and then we need two of these. And then one of these. Uh, actually, you better make sure it got triggered, by the way. I think we're fine. And one of these. There you go. I think I have them in forms like cart. You know, there's a chest in them and stuff like that from the... Yeah, okay, and then transportation class three bag. Okay, that sounds beautiful. Let's open that up. I got 32 coal. That's just rude. Uh, makes you wonder if there's ever anything cool in there. It's just, you know, lame like that. And then you can go for the one with the tank cart here and all this other stuff. That's cute. But I think that's it for this episode. We went through a lot of stuff. We still have a lot we can go through, but uh, I think that's good for this one. And then uh, I might do one more episode like that. And then I think eventually we'll go and visit the nether. And then I would like to do a wee bit of bee stuff. And then um, maybe at the same time, we can well, just maybe grab some hives and talk about them and just basic apiary stuff. And then maybe even look into uh, working towards our... Uh, crops you know just basic ones like you know i want to get the sticky reed so showing that and then probably then working our way towards lv because um i'm taking my time i'm not rushing but at the same time you guys probably are getting bored so uh we should move it around so thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe comment like we'll see wonderful people next time have a wonderful day goodbye